That was pretty cool, huh? Well, now I'm going to show you the code, and it's pretty simple um, to use. First off, you want to make your primary function, uh, I call it main here, and I run it as every player, and I run a child function as every player at themselves, right here. And you can do that down here with run at each check, run each tick. Then I declare um, a couple direction strings. So I have all the arrows here from downward all the way to um, downward right. And then the same for the key binds. Then down here, for all of those eight directions, I'm going to check if the current direction is exactly um, that right here because exact checks for an exclusive um, direction and we have the direction from our for loop then we um, display a title for that so you we invoke display which it, you know, gives us a number, I mean, which we give a number and a string. And then we make it gold and we make it bold. And then we use something called local vector, which gives us a static vi value for, um, for our Z and our Z um, for our Z and our Z to uh, teleport something or do whatever you want with. Um, it's not in a score, um, it's static. So we assign it to our variable vector here with a magnitude of 0.25, which is, is pretty small, it's pretty close to player speed. And then down here, um, rotated the same way um, on the um, horizontal, but zero for um, vertical so that we're not flying. But you could do that. Um, and then you select the minecart in the distance of 0.5 and get the nearest one. And then positioned as itself, not the player, um, you, run, you run teleport itself in the, in the vector that was given by this function in local coordinates that means carrots like, uh, like this then we want to make our um, we want to set up our display so display type is, is you know, we set up a property which is an abstraction I've made for a player scoreboard um, if you want to see that here look at that I create an objective with our name with a namespace and the name and it assumes the type dummy and it returns a score holder for at s as a property so a new property display type and then we, we test if it's um, if we're mounted or oh heh, I left that in on accident that doesn't need to be there anymore <laughs> uh, wait oh no okay it does so now um, now that we have that we u we use my mounted uh, my my wa my WASD library through get direction and we can even peek this so. In here, um, it has a lot of code, <laughs> but you don't have to worry about all of this because all you have to do to, to get this this function here is run npm i smc wasdev. 
and it will automatically install the library for your use. Just like that. Anywho, once we have our um, direction from the input, first we reset the action bar to still, um, just in case um, we're not moving. If we are moving, then we're going to um, check display types. If the display type is zero, that means that we want um, the, base, the most basic display type, the, the words. So we take parse ID, which basically it splits um, an ID on underscores and then capitalizes the words. We, uh, we, we tell, we give that um, to the direction as the display, which they use, which is used for the, for the tell to the title. And then for one, we use binds, which is these. And for two, and again, we're checking the player score here. If it's two, we use the arrow. And if it's three, we send an input that's combined of all of them. Here we have the arrow, the names, and the bind. Finally, we check, are we mounted? Then run the test. Run the test with mounted. If we're not mounted, make sure that we have do unmounted. And then run the test with walking. That's about it. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you look into using uh, sandstone. Um, and just as a to leave you off here, I'll uh, show you some of the library. This is where all the magic happens, and it's pretty simple, um, actually. Uh, this is our sign function. Um, let me use Bhaskara 1's uh, approximation. And we just do some simple scoreboard math. It all gets outputted. It all gets outputted. Uh, right here. In around 120 commands. Um, once you take into account what's in these sub-functions. Alright, I hope you're interested. Um, you can use this in vanilla too, um, off of our my repository. Uh, there's some documentation for that. Um, and, uh, yeah. Have a nice day.